Uh, so success factor is a uh, cloud-based SEM solutions. They provide uh, business execution software, uh, so which has a uh, uh, next generation uh, core HR solutions and talent management solutions. So the talent management solutions includes a lot of uh, uh, offerings from performance management, recruitment, uh, and compensation, mm -hmm. etc. Um, so success factor uh, has uh, the data uh, resides in the data centers. Uh, success factor. Uh, the architecture that followed by success factor is a multi-tenant uh, architecture where all the customers data are hosted in the data centers um, so uh, a data center uh, there are uh, around uh, 10 plus data centers I'm not sure about the exact number uh, but uh, they have a data centers around the globe uh, so whichever data center is near to the customer so that will be uh, given to the customer um, so uh, here the, uh, the tenant is a multi-tenant architecture that is being followed which means that all the customers data are hosted in the same data center um, uh, so uh, it is differentiated based on the uh, company ID so when a customer purchases success factors they will be uh, given a unique company ID um, so that that is a uh, ID which is uniquely differentiates the data between the customers um, okay and um, Let's move on. Uh, so the benefits of the cloud, uh, you'd be knowing because you know uh, the on-premise software will take a longer time, and you have to invest uh, in the infrastructure. Um, and but if you see the cloud, it is like uh, most of the things are already configured, and uh, you have no need to you know invest anything on the infrastructure perspective. Uh, and also the security uh, is higher in the cloud um, and the configurations are all uh, standard and proven configuration so uh, you can uh, expect your return on investment uh, in a faster way and the total cost of operation is low in the cloud based solutions okay so this is a small comparison between SAP and success factors uh, where success factor is almost 15 plus because it started in the year 2001 now almost have a 15 plus years of experience in the cloud based solutions um, and they have now uh, around 5000 plus customers uh, around the globe um, and the languages uh, they have uh, around 50 plus languages so uh, uh, means like we, we will be able to uh, configure the solutions according to the customers language as well so uh, 50 plus languages are supported currently um, so this is a, just a life cycle of an employee when an employee joins you can see the graph here so this is a time period and this is a performance of an employee so when an employee joins a company uh, his performance will be very low his contribution to the company will be very low um, and over the time period uh, this will uh, grow up so to in order to improve the performance of an employee uh, success factor provides a lot of solutions um, uh, you can see here the recruitment and hiring uh, so we have uh, uh, recruitment and onboarding we have success factor onboarding and align and perform uh, is uh, done by the uh, performance and goal management and we have to review and reward the employees we have compensation and to plan and develop we have learning management career development planning and succession planning and etc so with these uh, tools we will be able to improve the performance of an employee in a company over a period um, and this is a uh, BISEC suite uh, which is provided by the success factor. We have an employee central uh, as a next gen uh, core HR solution uh, which is a base um, uh, uh, which is which will be uh, act as a source of record and obviously if we have uh, some other legacy system we can also able to integrate um, the um, solutions uh, between the uh, softwares um, and here you can see uh, to get the right people work on the right things we have <clears throat> again goal and performance and uh, to find the right people and make them do the right work we have recruitment compensation learning succession and again uh, to uh, again uh, what most uh, what important to the business is the result so we have a workforce analytics uh, which will provide insights into the all the uh, you know most of the things that is matter to the business And this is just an architecture um, so here you see from the customer side you just have to have a this uh, browser and the internet and the subscription to the success factors so that's all you have to have uh, as a customer uh, the rest of the things are uh, handled and maintained by success factor uh, so the solution is hosted in the success factor data center uh, as I said earlier 
um, and it also has a system management security management everything is done by these success factors um, and we have a multi-tenant enabled database here and XML abstraction layer is here so with this only like we we will be configuring the solution uh, with XML uh, codings and uh, we have objects and services and platform so platform uh, like when you purchase a, a success factor solution uh, the uh, initial thing you will be getting out is a platform so platform will have an employee profile um, and uh, the basic things that is necessary uh, to support uh, other solutions um, that is a platform and uh, you will be having uh, like based on your subscription you will be able to enable access additional modules like employee central uh, learning succession and other talent management solutions Okay, so uh, when we implement a, a success factor a solutions, the methodology that is currently being followed for all the cloud-based uh, implementation is SAP Activate. Um, so um, I think if you have uh, already worked on SAP-based uh, implementation project, you would have uh, known about ASAP methodology, uh, which is a kind of waterfall methodology. Uh, which will have a five phases uh, usually like uh, initial preparation blueprint um, and realization final preparation um, and go live so there are uh, five steps in the earlier waterfall methodology but currently uh, as um, this activate methodology follows agile based uh, implementation uh, methodology so it has a uh, four phases prepare explore realize and deploy uh, in the preparation phase uh, what <coughs> This starts with executable content, which means that uh, Success Factor provides a uh, uh, RDS solutions, which is rapid deployment solution. Uh, this uh, RDS solution is uh, is a pre-configured solution uh, where customers like uh, they can buy the RDS solution um, and. Uh, uh, they can uh, start with that so this will improve the uh, project uh, implementation timeline because uh, the things are already configured uh, and what we will do is we will do that in, in the next phase we will just verify whether uh, the con pre configured solution meets the customer needs or not so we will find the gap um, in the second phase in the exploration phase in the realization phase we will follow the actual uh, agile methodology like we will uh, break the solution into different sprints or different timelines um, and in each timeline we will uh, uh, configure the solution and uh, um, you know we will we will walk through with the client and we will understand like so we will complete uh, the configuration in a phased manner um, so it, it is again an iterative solution because uh, in a waterfall model if you see like we will start uh, uh, we will start configure everything and finally uh, we will walk through the, uh, with the client but uh, if there is anything like a new requirement comes or new changes comes we will not be able to handle in the waterfall model but in the uh, sprint methodology and agile methodology we will be able to handle like uh, the you know in between requirement or is, is there any change that that also can be handled here so that is a advantage of this agile methodology and final phase is a deploy uh, where we will be like do all the cutover activities and uh, uh, where we will like you know um, go live with a solution that is configured so um, like this is a, a deployment options that we have um, in the success factors like a uh, customer may go with complete solution in the cloud uh, that will be like a full cloud HCM and some com uh, customers may already be using uh, ERP uh, as a core HR solution and they just want all the talent solutions uh, to be available in the cloud uh, here uh, uh, the core HR can be SAP ERP or uh, can be any other uh, softwares like uh, people software some other systems uh, but uh, they can go with talent solutions and success factors so that is called talent hybrid so talent will be in cloud and core will be in uh, on-premise um, so this full cloud is everything in the cloud including core HR so core HR would be employee central um, in SAP we will say like OM PA time payroll so that will be covered in employee central and all other remaining solutions will be uh, uh, combined in the talent solution so the side-by-side -side HCM if you see uh, customers uh, some uh, like uh, the core HR systems will be in SAP uh, and the talent solutions uh, like a talent solutions for some of the uh, subsidiaries for example a company may go for a, um, a new acquisition so uh, in order to uh, utilize the uh, value you know uh, in, in order to make <coughs> the solutions to be available uh, readily so they can go uh, for a full cloud solution for those subsidiaries or for this acquisition and remaining thing uh, they can go with talent solutions in the cloud and core HR uh, solution in the SAP ERP so this is a combination of uh, both talent hybrid and full cloud so that is called side by side 
okay so it depends on the customer like which methodology they want to use um, so let's now just go into the solutions perspective so uh, this is a home page of the success factors which uh, currently follows a fiori based uh, application where uh, you can see a lot of tiles here uh, um, and the theming everything is sap uh, fiori based themes uh, so uh, it the the home page is grouped based on the roles like you can see uh, if the manager uh, if if the person is logged in as a manager so he will be able to see his teams and teams absence and team summary so those kind of things uh, and if i am an employee i'll be able to see uh, only the tiles that is relevant to the employees mm, so that is again uh, the home page is again uh, is, uh, is configurable um, uh, given the user has a permission okay um, and this is the admin center where uh, we will be doing the configurations and I forgot to tell you one thing like um, in success factor we have two things one is instance and one is provisioning uh, so provisioning it will be uh, the provisioning access will be given only to partner employees um, so I that to uh, certified consultants only can have a provisioning access and even uh, customers uh, side uh, though the employees are certified they will not be able to get the provisioning access so this will be given only to partner employees uh, the uh, the provisioning access um, in the provisioning um, let me just uh, log in and okay uh, um, so I'll just show you the instance uh, but the provisioning side uh, <clears throat> when a customer purchases the first time so the most of the uh, features that has to be enabled from the provisioning side um, and especially the admin uh, super admin so all those things have to be created from the provisioning um, and uh, once the modules and other features are enabled from the provisioning, we will be uh, able to come and log in into the instance. Uh, then uh, the permission has to be given for the respective modules uh, that are enabled in provisioning. Uh, so after that only the users will be able to use the system. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh, earlier most of the configuration are done in the provisioning side. Um, it's like uh, if, if you have uh, worked on SAP, you can correlate it like uh, in SPRO, we used to do all the configurations. Um, uh, it, it's similar to that. Uh, provisioning, we, we will be doing most of the configuration. But now the thing is changed. Uh, uh, most of the configuration now are moved to admin center itself. In admin center itself, uh, customer administrator will be able to do most of the configuration. But as yes, the initial setup will be done in the provisioning. Um, and some of the modules like performance management um, and uh, uh, compensation, whichever using uh, is uh, using template based approach, uh, we have to still go back to provisioning uh, and download the XML data models because the XML is a, a coding language that we will be using for the configuration. Um, still, uh, not all things are moved to instance, but it is uh, going forward that will be completely moved. Um, but uh, as of now, we still have to have access to provisioning uh, in order to do some configurations. Okay, but uh, almost 70% of the configuration can be done from this admin center itself. Um, okay. Um, so, um, <clears throat> so this is the employee central uh, uh, public profile. Uh, so you can see uh, this is like a ta tab based approach. Hello. Oh. Yeah. I just wanted to ask, uh, like as you mentioned, like there is two things like uh, instant and provisioning. Yeah. So as you mentioned, like going forward, all the things will be moved to instant. So uh, presently, the professionals who work on success factor that they will be using both of them to configure the page. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, they have to have the provisioning access. Yes. But even though if they are working on support, but still if there are some changes that uh, requires uh, modification from the provisioning side, so they have to have the provisioning access. Okay. Yeah, because at present it is it is mandatory. Uh, it is required. And that too, they, the consultant should be a certified one. Okay. Okay, so, so what if the consultant is not certified? So still you would be getting an access to provisioning to work on it? No, suppose if the customer is already, uh, the consultant has already started working on it and in between if his certification has become invalid because currently the approach is uh, every three months they have to complete the Delta certification. If they, mm -hmm. if in, in the case of uh, failing to complete the certification, uh, so their certi uh, certification will become invalid. So since they have already started working on the uh, project, uh, they will be allowed to complete the project, but in next project, they will not be able to uh, get the provisioning access. 
Okay. Okay, but uh, so it is mandatory. Like suppose if if you are not certified and if you are expecting to get the provisioning access, that cannot be done. Okay. So what about uh, the new people? Like you know, you are getting into the success factor. Like you know, they won't be having this uh, provisioning access then. Um. No. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So first, first thing you have to do is like you have to get certified. But still, um, uh, some companies what they do is uh, as a team when when you are working as a team. So in a team, if someone uh, uh, in a team has a provisioning access, that will do with that person's uh, provisioning access. You will be able to do things. Yeah. But uh, so instance access uh, is everyone can be. Uh, get because you know getting instance access is not that difficult because uh, when you are mm -hmm. working on a success factor project you have to get the instance access but provisioning access is not okay. like that provisioning access will be provided by success factor itself but this instance access will mm -hmm. be provided by the customer uh, because uh, it is their system customer can grant access to anybody they want mm -hmm. so is it like if i'm getting certified in one any one of the modules i will be getting a provisioning access or yeah. like uh, yeah, yeah, you will be so getting provisioning it, access. It is not that you should get, uh, 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 you know, certified in that particular module which you are going to work. It's not like that. If if I'm getting certified in any one of the module, I will be getting a complete provisioning access. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But okay. the thing is that, like, if you are working for a particular client, uh, whom they, uh, if they do not use the module which you are certified in, but then uh, getting the provisioning access for that particular client will become difficult. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So that. Sajid, one more question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, now success factor certification is open for everyone. Anyone can do certification, right? Yeah, anyone can do. Yeah. So, what, I mean, uh, if you don't work for a partner and huh. you you are getting certified. Uh, and, uh, and now, after finishing certification, you will you will have an S user ID, correct? After no no, after, it's not like after finishing certification. Um, S user ID earlier for SAP it was like that, but uh, if you are working in a partner company, you will be able to get an S user ID. Um, but I doubt if suppose if you don't work for an uh, even if you are working for a uh, some customers uh, still you will be able to get a ID but that will be not an S user ID that will be like a P ID or uh, some if you are working in SAP itself you will be getting I ID so there are different IDs I think if you are working for right. a customer yeah so so once you finish your certification then what is the you need to do your delta certifications and etc right how will you be able to do without an s user id s user id is not required to complete a delta exam what you have to have is you have to have a learning learning hub access in order to complete your delta certification exam but uh, but if you are doing a certification independently uh, because learning hub access is i think way costlier Yes. And if you are doing your and, and there is also an option of doing certification independently without learning hub access. You directly yeah. just appear for the certification. Yeah, that is. So there. when you when you do it, that, yeah, that is there. But the problem, this is a problem that everyone is facing. Like if you are not part of a, a partner company or if your company is not providing learning hub access, then it is difficult to complete the Delta exam because uh, uh, otherwise you have to purchase a subscription on your own to complete the Delta exam. Uh, and uh, this, uh, because uh, from the research that I did, uh, an independent uh, certification through exam will cost us maybe 30 or 35,000 rupees, okay? Yeah. And uh, let's say we do yeah. that. After we do that, how do we ensure that uh, the certification does not expire? Uh, I think once you do it is valid for one year uh, uh, the certification you know <clears throat> uh, you have to purchase a subscription uh, for a certification hub uh, that is valid for one year uh, but uh, once you do your certification probably again you have to appear for certification that I am seriously I am not aware of it because uh, that is a only option only option to complete the Delta exam is through learning hub okay currently it is a only option so if you don't have a learning hub access um, seriously, I don't know. Like, uh, even I have seen many of my friends also like losing uh, certification because of uh, not having subscription to Learning Hub Access. Because otherwise, there is no other option uh, Success Factor is providing currently. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. As I'm very new to this ERB, can you give me a little understanding about this Delta? 
certification okay, that okay. you're talking about. Okay. Um, so uh, in earlier uh, SAP, so you just have to complete the certification. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your lifelong your certification will be valid. But what the success factor is doing is that since it is a cloud-based solution and the product is constantly evolving, um, so uh, if okay. you are certified in in a particular year, let's say this year you are getting certified, but after two years, uh, if you don't update the product knowledge after two years the things would have been completely changed I will not say it's completely almost 20% would have changed or a lot of new things would have come um, so certain things uh, it is not possible in this year would be possible in after two years but if you don't update the knowledge of the product you will not come to know that this feature is currently available so uh, so in order to if uh, to ensure that all the consultants are up to date about the product, SuccessFact has come up with a, a technology called like a Delta certification. What you uh, it is like uh, SuccessFact releases solution every three months. It's a quarterly release. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they do like uh, in every release there may be new features uh, can be involved or they will address some of the existing issues. Um, so uh, you have to complete the Delta exams uh, in order to make your certification valid. If you don't complete okay. that, that, that Delta exam, so whenever the uh, quarter release comes, uh, they will uh, release a uh, course for that particular release, what have been released that often in each module. Okay, it's not just okay. it's a combined. So if you are certified in Employee Central, uh, in Employee Central, uh, they will release a particular course for that particular Delta or uh, for that particular uh, uh, quarter. Uh, you have to uh, complete that uh, course and at the end there will be an exam that that will be like a very easy only so you have to complete that exam uh, once passing that exam your certification uh, validity will be extended for another three months okay okay so yeah um, okay uh, so this is an employee central uh, home page like uh, employees my employee file page where you can see like a lot of tabs here so each one corresponds to a particular section or particular portlet um, so it's all like again uh, it, it, it's all like again uh, country dependent or a global uh, one so we have different data models for this to configure it's a succession model and a country specific succession model uh, and similarly uh, <clears throat> corporate data model and country specific corporate data model are there uh, in order to configure these employee central solutions okay and, and again we have another, another few data models like workflow and business rule uh, and HRS publication so that we will be seeing like suppose if you are taking employee central as a, um, uh, a course that uh, that will be covered in that so what can be done with this SF Employee Central? So whatever, like you will be able to maintain Employee Master and you will be able to perform actions like a promotion or a job change and or compensation change, those kind of actions you will be able to do. And uh, this also Employee Central covers position management, global employment, time of uh, payroll, timesheet, at global benefits, etc., etc. Even document generation is a new addition where you will, you will be able to generate the documents like address proof or uh, something like that okay so it is uh, employee central is the one like mostly uh, evolving now because um, it, it is coming up with a lot of new features and this is just a screenshot of an org chart where you can see that an org chart is there position org chart is there and uh, <clears throat> you will be also able to see the matrix relationship which is denoted as a dotted line here um, etc and from here you will be also able to see the quick code of an employee will just give what what is the job of an employee and what department he belongs to he or she so those kind of things this is a just a screenshot of a uh, time of in in employees view and managers view so employees will be able to apply he will be able to see his uh, uh, time of balances and manager uh, when he approves for the uh, time of request he will be able to see his team's calendar so he, is there anybody else is uh, apply applied leave on the same day and then he can take action and he will be also able to delegate this to someone else to approve um, so there are a lot of features available here and uh, 
employee central integration with third party application employee central um, because if some customer may use for time management they can use some um, uh, third party solution like workforce um, or uh, for benefit they can use benefit focus so uh, in order to uh, integrate with those applications uh, six vector provides the integration contents um, so there are like pre uh, there are a lot of things like apis and custom integration prepackaged integrations so with that we will be able to achieve the integration between the third party applications so this is a performance and goals you can see this is a goal plan so since this is a uh, success factor overview session i am just uh, showing you all the screenshots and the features that is available okay um, so is a goal plan <clears throat> and uh, you will uh, with this goal plan you will be able to uh, cascade goals and align goals import export goals and in the performance form you will be able to link the same goal plan here and you can see where the performance form is currently uh, who's doing what and uh, and there are a lot of features supported by the performance form um, you will be able to see who is who is a topper and uh, I, uh, and also <coughs> there are team rater uh, I think that is not show, showing in this page uh, so with that uh, feature uh, a manager will be able to rate all the employees rate the competencies of all his subordinates at the same page and this, this is a compensation so this is just a compensation worksheet uh, where uh, co compensation planner will be able to uh, perform the merit increase or promotion or adjustment with this uh, compensation solution he will be able to see all his team uh, team employees and the rating uh, if it is if the performance management is integrated with the compensation he will be able to see the rate of the employees and against that he will be able to perform the uh, promotion or uh, uh, merit increase percentage so he so this is the so merit increase can be merit increase can be done as part of salary and bonus and stock other stuff can also be done and this is just a screenshot of the workforce analytics and planning um, and so it, it, it has like a lot of uh, a query designer ad hoc designer is the one like ad hoc query uh, uh, ad hoc reporting uh, with that we will be able to for uh, create ad hoc reports for all the modules okay so we have a lot of dimensions and uh, metric metrics uh, predefined metrics and uh, uh, dimensions with that we'll be able to uh, design these dashboards and the reports as per the customer requirement and uh, the reporting is not just used for uh, this uh, uh, you know uh, to display in a graphical way but also during the integration we have to download some uh, data and uh, so in that uh, view also like the reporting is uh, really helpful because when you have an integration with some other solution you have to download uh, the results of the particular uh, for example performance rating you want to export if the compensation is not in success factor if it is in some other solution you have to download the results of the uh, performance uh, of the employees and you have so the download you can create a report uh, for that and you can download and upload into the uh, legacy system or some other solution that the customer is using so this is just off an hour session, so I was just uh, really uh, uh, have to wrap up. Um, so, is there any questions that you have? Uh, I just want to know, like, what which all modules we are going to cover in this training? Um, so, actually, this uh, success factor, uh, since it has a lot of modules, and we will not be able to cover every module. So, uh, the training will be uh, done for each module. So, like, uh, ask. Uh, per session we will be handling one module only because that is how okay. even uh, in SAP authorized uh, center also you can um, check because uh, they are also because it's really fast uh, the, uh, the content that has it's really vast so we will not be able to cover even two modules in a single session mm -hmm. okay so uh, and also uh, certification perspective also uh, if at least because you know to cover one module uh, uh, at least it will take one month mm -hmm. so uh, in uh, per session we will handle only one module so that is up to, uh, up to you which one you want so based on that we can go ahead uh, okay sir yeah 
हेलो 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 हाँ या हेलो कैन यू हर मी तो या so uh, does it mean that you know in uh, the entire training session we are going to get the uh, uh, overview of all the models and we are not going to do going to do the in depth we are not going to get the in depth knowledge of uh, the chosen no no models. no no what i'm saying is that uh, this the for, since it's a demo session i have i was showing all about the features of all the modules but in actual mm -hmm. training we will be taking only one particular module and we will cover only that so that you have okay. to see like which module you are going to uh, you want the training okay so we are not going to cover any two modules we are only going to cover one module in depth yeah suppose if you want to have another module then uh, it's like you have to again uh, be in touch base with uh, the training center and you have to enroll for another training session um, which you uh, know when uh, other module is covered that time you can uh, join okay okay got it yeah but but again uh, i think uh, the cost you have to pay extra for that okay i will just cut with the service center in a meanwhile i just also want to check that you know because i am uh, in a layman like you know i i don't have any understanding in this success or i don't have you know i'm very new to this erp okay okay as, as the professional as a mm -hmm. professional i'm an hr professional and i have only understanding about the you know the general terminologies which is used so how do you think that you know how if if i am someone who is you know going to step up into this field how uh, it is going to be useful for me like would it be easy for me or would it be taking my some time for me to establish myself in this uh no actually see, this is a, a cloud based solution and it is like even uh, a customers administrator the intention of the uh, cloud based solution is like even customer should be able to self sufficiently do their work uh, that is the mm, that, you know keeping that in mind success factors have designed this uh, solution so uh, So since you have already have a business knowledge or domain knowledge, it will not be really tough for you to uh, do this because if it is at least an SAP, you have to remember a lot of things like transaction codes, program name, this, that. But in Success Factor, it's really like everything is documented. You just have to refer the uh, refer the document and have to just configure this, mm -hmm. and you have to understand what are the features supported and how to do that. That's it. So it's not really a tough job. Okay, which are the models which are in like uh, you know which is being asked by most of the clients? Which, uh, can you just give me understanding about like which which models are at peak now? Uh, it's uh, I would say it's employee central uh, and performance. I cannot really say that because if some some company is going with complete suit, so they will go ahead with everything. But I can say employee central performance compensation um, and uh, recruitment. onboarding um almost uh, i am covering everything uh, but uh, yeah so it is really tough to say if, if you ask me the top 2 3 uh, i would say uh, uh, performance management employee central um, and compensation okay okay yeah so do you have any other question or Yeah, Satish. Uh, regarding uh, choosing the module of our choice, uh, mm -hmm. what what about your uh, area of expertise? I mean, uh, will you be the trainer if we are choosing, and uh, or any module, and what is it that you have? Uh, yeah. So actually, yeah. yeah. So actually, I am certified in uh, employee central performance compensation uh, recruitment and workforce analytics. So these modules I'll be handling. Uh, but if you are choosing some other module then uh, i think you have to check with uh, the trainers I mean sorry the training institute okay uh, because what if it is uh, learning management uh, that we are choosing because that is plat u right uh that is plat u and uh, I, uh, yeah so i am not sure about because you know the demo instance also it's really tough to get for the lms because lms is not uh, granted to everyone in the partner company because if you see the other demo instance uh whoever is working success factor will be able to get the demo instance to practice but the lms is given only uh one or two instances to every uh partner company which means if i am working in a com partner company called x so the, for the entire company only uh 10 instances are granted so that too is for the project uh, you know purpose um so i don't think so any uh, trainer will have that access uh, you know in order for you to practice and uh, you know understand uh, 
but even I don't have that access. I tried because I am not able to get that. Uh, but okay, and what if we choose uh, what if we choose recruiting? Uh, will will we be trained on all three recruitment management, recruitment marketing, and onboarding, or is it only recruitment management? Yeah, it will be only recruitment management only. Okay, so marketing and onboarding will not be covered in the training session. Yeah, it right? will not be covered. Yeah, and again, is, is it is it not? Yeah, and yeah, again, ahead, yeah, the recruitment, marketing, and onboarding again, like it's very similar to uh, LMS. So getting that access also is tough because the career website builder and uh, for onboarding also that system is not part of Success Factor. It is again uh, third party one which was acquired by the uh, Success Factors. Okay, so uh, getting access to that also is now uh, it's uh, tough because that is also granted to the company in a limited uh, basis only. So that is why, uh, because for training, like uh, when uh, we know when people are joining for training, we have to give access to them to practice, right? So we will not be able to give them that access. Okay, and when it comes to access itself, what are all the access uh, that uh, you would be providing to the uh, to the learners? Uh, what, what kind of access? Uh, we will be giving uh, instance access. Obviously, provisioning will not, uh, you know, it uh, it cannot be given. Um, so instance access will be giving, and depends on the module which you are uh, enrolling. Uh, so that for that particular module, you will have access in that instance. In that instance, okay. And uh, see, uh, but uh, from a real time experience perspective, uh, it also uh, see uh, in, in in either in provisioning or in uh, this thing uh, instance, mm -hmm. you will not have access to the uh, uh, to the documentations that are provided uh, while you are working on a project. For instance. Uh, if, if you really need to work on, let's say, XML model, you need to have, let's say, uh, DDD files mm -hmm. in order to work on the XML model, right? So, so okay. such kind of things are not available either in instance or in uh, provisioning. It, it will be available, I think, in partner portal or somewhere, right? Correct. So that, uh, so whatever is uh, latest, that uh, I will be able to share that to you because DTDs and the other uh, stuff like implementation guides so that we will be sharing it to you. Okay, but, but will you will you also be explaining the framework on which uh, or the whole thing works? Like uh, for which things you need to go to the partner portal, for which things you need to. Uh, yeah, yeah, of so course. La, la, la. Yeah, okay. th that definitely will be covering it. Okay, and. Uh, yeah. Uh, with respect to materials or uh, training materials or anything, how is it that uh, it is? Yeah, we have. Shared? A yeah, we have a, a slides uh, for each module. So uh, at the end of each class, we will be sharing that slides also. Uh, apart from that, like whatever, as you said, like DTD is required, and if XML model is required, that also we will be sharing it to you. And if okay, but other than yeah, other than slide, uh, mm -hmm. what about uh, mm -hmm. is is there any admin guide or uh, something that you would be sharing? Because slides will only be talking about. Uh, uh, topic wise or feature wise uh, uh, yeah yeah so uh, yeah. basically what I meant is like for each class of whatever we are taking that we will be sharing it to you in addition to that whatever is required that like implementation if, if implementation is required that also we can share it to you implementation is definitely okay. required so that we will be sharing it to you okay and uh, uh, with respect to the class itself, uh, I was told that it would be two and a half to three hours uh, class if it is over a weekend and uh, it, there will be 15 such sessions okay. and uh, then there will be an additional 15 sessions of uh, assignments or uh, something. Uh, can, can you tell me, can you briefly explain how exactly it is structured uh, each oh. week? Um, so if it is a weekday, so it, it will be mostly uh, for one and a half uh, hours. Uh, and it will go for a month. So five days into one and a half hours into four weeks. So that is a structure we are following here. And if it is a weekend, um, it will be mostly yeah two to two and a half hours. Um, Saturday it will be like Saturday Sunday. So into uh, so we will see like if we are able to cover everything, um, it will go uh, for uh, till that much time. So because mostly it will be if it is a weekend, uh, five weeks to six weeks it will come. Six okay, weeks. Okay, if it is weekend, so it's five to six weeks. Huh? Yeah. Okay. 
and uh, and what about uh, delta related uh, stuff uh, will we have a chance to i mean once we finish your course uh, what do we do for delta uh, i mean delta, how do we delta is really is known will be able to help you because uh, even if i share my access to you if you complete it it will be like i am completing that exam Okay, so uh, in order for you to uh, get uh, your certification update. No, I, don't, I mean, I'm not talking about the exam perspective, but mm -hmm. at least uh, for us, because even now after for completing the course, I'm not going to be certified uh, in this course at least, because okay. this is an online course that, okay. that you are providing and it is for my knowledge that I'm getting this knowledge from you. Okay. But after this, what if I want to continue to uh, update my uh, knowledge, not, not for a certification perspective, but at least I need to be aware of what is coming out, right, with proper documentation. In that case, uh, let's say that I'm not taking the certification for you, but I, can I still use yours in order to go through something that is old? I mean, once you have completed, obviously it will be, uh, I don't know how Learning Hub works, but uh, you, sh you should be able to uh, do the courses time and again, right, uh, without impact of, uh, doing an exam or anything no like if once if you complete the course that will be recorded okay and that will be removed from your uh, uh, assignments to-do list okay which means that you have already completed so that really uh, learning but, but can you can you redo can you redo whatever you have completed because it is e-learning right it is e-learning but the thing is that uh, sharing access it is a company provided you have to understand it first because it's not my own uh, learning hub that which I have purchased. It's a company provided and it's sharing it to somebody else is really like it's an offensive. So what I, the best I can do is like it is uh, uh, the Delta exams are a downloaded one and that too I cannot like you know provide for every quarter. Probably if that is something is coming up this quarter, I can share that to you when you are you know enrolled in the training. That time whatever is coming I can share it to you but uh, every quarter it's really you know it's not possible. Because you know there will be a lot of students coming up so to sharing it to everyone is really uh, that won't work actually. Okay. And, and if we are to purchase a learning hub access, uh, is it valid forever or is it valid only for one year? Yeah, it is valid for only one year. You are aware of the cost? Yeah, it's coming around two, two and a half lakhs. It's more than two and a half lakhs. For, so for every year, in order to keep our learning hub access active, we need to spend two and a half lakhs, huh? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think okay. Success Factor is making a big revenue out of it. Okay.